So this is the last day of the hot weather. It's supposed to be up in the 80s again with sunshine. So my last chance, I'll get the pressure washing done on the boat. I don't like pressure washing when it's cold outside. Strong wind today. That's what's keeping us warm. Wonder how my minnows are doing. Here they come, baby. They're real happy. My own giant aquarium. All right. Get me out of here. Well, that turbo nozzle worked pretty good. I'm almost there. That's almost a hole. <laughs> I don't think it's a hole. But it's close to a hole. Yeah, I can see it right there. Wow. All right, so Corey and I flipped this puppy. Now I can clean all these nasty seams. See right there is a leak. All along here, looks like a leak. And then I'll leave it like this, keep the leaves out, and come along with some crap on it. Should be good to go. Well, the nice warm weather is gone. Get cold out again. Windy, nasty, cold. Oh, I don't even want to come out here with this freaking wind. But I gotta get something done sooner or later. Probably gonna be later. What I'm gonna do, I'll go over this little wire brush, clean it up, and take that Loctite Marine I love so much and just fill all these seams in real nice and then take it down to the lake dump it in the water and see if I got any rivets leaking that way you know I can see where it's at mark where it's at when it's upside down on the trailer I mean you could see it leaking up here right around up here See these crazy bugs? That's another story. But anyway, it was dripping here. And I've got some other, uh, I don't know what it is, JB Weld or something for, the, for any rivets that are leaking. So that's the plan, Stan. I mean, I don't have the money to run out and buy $300 worth of sealer. I mean, everything you look at for that size boat starts getting expensive. So if you know me, as poor as I am, I got to do everything on a budget. All right, so I got, of course, the old wire wheel. Looks good. Then I picked up this puppy. See that scratch right there? Let's see what happens. <laughs> I've never bought one of these before. going to be fast too. I watched this one guy do his boat. Oh, and it was a POS when he bought it. Dirt cheap. And man, he, he must have spent $500 in 
uh, sealants and coatings and this and that and you know he finally decked it all out and the bottom came out nice and then he did the sides he never did like a close-up of the sides and then later on in the video you could see man it was horrible drip marks and just what a mess the bottom looked great but it was a total mess on the sides anyway I, like i said i'm not going to get stupid on it so this is cool those nasty green brown water stain whatever the hell algae seaweed i don't know what it was they were all along here and back there and along there um i, I tried rubbing compound i tried brake cleaner i tried <laughs> uh, paint thinner and nothing did did anything till i sprayed a little bleach on it boy bleach took it right off all right so now that it's kind of cleaned up a little bit and I can see better. You can see there's a weld right there. Right there's a weld. I'll be damned. But like I said too, these didn't look like they were cut all the way. So I don't know. But I'm gonna cut it. It ain't gonna go nowhere. And I'll get somebody to weld it. Or even try that stupid Aluma weld crap again. It never seems to work for me. <laughs> well, I started. <laughs> Thank goodness I found this little guy <coughs> and my stuff. Man, he's killing it. This thing was killing me. That thing, man, is ripping right through this. It's so much quicker and lightweight. I was like, man, I know I got another freaking drill in there. My battery drills, they're just running out of power so fast and batteries are getting so old. Anyway, I noticed too when I walked around here, you see that reflection in there and how shiny that is? It's like a mirror right there. Them days are gone. <laughs> anyway, try to get this thing prepped up. Seal all these seams up. Well, so far, I haven't found any loose rivets. Use it locked tight. Just put a nice bead right down. <laughs> this thing's so beat up. To do a little work on that, not much. She getting there a little at a time. So I'll try to do this, finish this section. I'm trying to spread myself around. A little here, a little there, a little here, a little there. Just can't get everything all done. One day kind of thing. So back to work, baby. So Corey just came by, he said, man, use my dr drum roller or whatever the hell he called it, polisher, because Corey said drum roller. So I'm like, give me a demo. So we did this spot here, and I was like, man, it looks too shiny. I got to have, I got to have something for the paint to bite on too. And it still it left it left it scruffy. So I don't know, I mean I'm gonna try it.
But boy, it does look shinier. Look how. I don't know. Let me see what it looks like over what I already did. Yeah, I like that. It gives it more of that, you know, it takes out all that swirliness. And it should stick. But this looks too shiny. It feels real smooth, but you know it's got to stick. I think I'll do that. I'll run over this part real quick. Yeah. It just evens up all the little swirlies that I put in. It's not bad. But it's awkward to use for me. I'll finish this this end here and where I go along the edge there and hit this real good little crusty spots over here. Should be good. Paint will stick. I got this side done. Uh, not quite totally. I just ripped through it. This thing is fast. Man. It did pretty good. I ripped through that pretty quick, but I'll go over it again with the wire, the round, big round one. They seem to work the best. So you get in them corners and stuff. So not bad for a quickie, kind of quickie job, <laughs> I think. Yeah, you know, what are you gonna do? It's an old John boat, 1956, baby. Anyway. Getting there a little at a time. I gotta get this thing out of here. I can't reach it, I can't do anything with it up there. I wanna check it out. Now that it's freed up, and my tires on the hand truck are flat, I can't roll it out. I put this thing right over there. Close to the hose. <laughs> I'll try to squeeze it in over here somehow. Hey, can I do this by myself again? driveway's higher on the one side. Anyway, it's holding up. That's all I can do. I'll reinforce it later. Oh yeah, baby, next time on this old outfit. Man, I'm not kidding. Look at the amount of fish that's on that thing and not one freaking nibble. Well, we might have a problem. These only have nine teeth. That big one has ten. Boy, they just barely touch. Woohoo! <laughs> one fifty. <laughs> That is sweet. Come on, number three. Oh, yeah, baby.